And Haley Hernandez and his classes get back into full swing after spring break. Parents may be looking for ways to help their kids get prepared for state mandated star testing, which begins in April or those college entrance exams. So talking to me in studio this morning, more about test test resources. Tristan and Rachel Thompson. Uh, Tristan, is your last name Thompson too? Yes, it is. Okay, so <laughs> both Thompson. All right, you're with the Tutoring Club of Cyprus. So tell Correct. me, what, what are the services that you guys offer? So we are full service tutoring. So that means that we do every subject uh, from K through 12, as well as helping with test prep, STAR, college planning, all of that. Um, so I'm more of like getting kids ready for the SAT. And Rachel is more like for the college planning, looking for scholarships, financial aid for students, and helping parents to navigate, you know, just um, a new reality in a new world. Okay, so is this a busy time of year for you guys? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, always. The school year is always busy for us, especially with STAR, just around the corner. Yeah. So a lot of people are coming in and they're seeing, hey, what can we do? How can we get our kids ready for the STAR as well as the new SAT? I mean, is that the main question that people have? Like, who's just like, what do I need to do? Or are there specifics to these tests that you see most people have questions about? Well, most people want to know what's the process. What is the, what are the new changes? How is this going to affect my kid? Yeah. And then so is it more individualized, more personalized? What's the timing? Can I use calculators? You have so many questions. Mm -hmm. And for a lot of the parents, because it's a lot different than when they did it or when yeah. their older child had did it. So now they are just looking for guidance. And that's what we are here to help provide. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so what are what are some of the resources that you can help provide for, let's say, like for a star student versus a college prep student? Oh, me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so for we'll start with a college student, SAT student. So mm -hmm. a lot of our students, we want to see exactly where they're at, what they're struggling with. And that's when we start taking them through our program so that they know the basics of the SAT. A lot of our students, and this applies to our star elementary students as well, is that they're missing gaps from you know previous years, especially with COVID. Mm -hmm. So we're taking them back, teaching them the basics, giving them practice problems, giving them practice tests so that they're not so anxious with timing and they know exactly what to expect when it comes to test taking because a lot of it is just missing information from previous years with our students. Uh, yeah, and then it kind of Still snowballs, right? Yes, it does. Exactly, yes, it does. exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. And they don't know what they don't know sometimes. They just know that they're struggling. Exactly. So that's what our programs do is they create custom programs for each student so that they know exactly where they're missing information and then we can reteach them. So a lot of our teachers, they're moving forward with the curriculum and we're trying to fill in those gaps. Okay. What What's the tutoring environment like? You guys make a, a nice environment, like a study environment for them? Yeah. So we have small groups. So it's two to three kids per table and we have it to where I never want want a kid to ever feel like they're alone. Mm -hmm. So what we always have is like for the teachers that will have like 25, 30 kids per, um, per classroom, instead it's two to three and they're all at the same age level. So then you have like the ninth graders with the ninth graders, fifth graders with the fifth graders. They end up making friends mm -hmm. and they end up seeing other classmates, people in the hallways, and then they take a deep breath because they know that they're not alone. And that's what we don't want is for our kids to ever feel alone. Because if you came into a center and it's just you, yeah. you think like, <laughs> I'm the only one in the world that struggles. Yeah. And it's like, no, there's a lot of kids that don't get it. And that's where we see when we give tours to parents. And that's where we want to make sure that we just like to let the parents know and the kids know, it's not just you, it's mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And do they have to take a test to get into the tutoring club? We do. We have an assessment essentially for every grade level just to see where they're at, where to start them. No student comes in exactly the same. Um, their issues and their weaknesses are not exactly the same. What are the goals the parents and the students have set? So it's really just a way to get to know them. What is it that they're missing? What is it that they know? So that way we can start creating a program specifically for them. And it also helps us kind of understand where they're struggling. And then from there, we go deeper once they're in the program and we get in touch with teachers and see exactly what is it that they're seeing as well with the students in the classroom because those are the things that we don't get to see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then how much does it cost? So really it varies by kid. And that's why I always tell parents is that every single parent is different. Some parents say that I just want my kid to um, just to pass. Some parents say I want my kids gifted and talented level. Some some parents with their kids college ready. So we actually that's why Rachel says we take it. We do the test first and then we see kind of like, OK, your kid is at seventh in seventh grade. They're struggling and we have to take them back to maybe fifth grade level. So this is the plan based off how you want to attack it now based off your budget. Let's 
let's create a plan that's best for you. So for parents, we just change it up because it's like it's not a one size fits all. So what's like the range that they're looking at? So for, for full service, I mean, it can range anywhere from 40 to 60 an hour, you know, so that's why we always give larger discounts to parents that are with us for longer mm -hmm. because, you know, the kids do better. And then that's how we are able to really and truly grow is because that's why I believe in advertisement is through the testimonials from our kids. Mm. So I'd rather give parents larger discounts for being with me more so that we can work on more subjects, the kids are better, because you know when you're dealing with parents is that they, they talk and they want to refer other parents and that's how our Cypress location has grown, our, our Dallas location has grown, it's all through word of mouth. Mm -hmm. And then if, um, so if somebody is like several years behind in reading, in their reading level, mm -hmm. how fast can you catch them up? The golden question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because if your kid's two, two grades behind yeah. and they have a test coming up at the end mm -hmm. of the year, what can you do? So those are the conversations that we have with parents in setting expectations and setting realistic goals too. And also realizing consistency is very important because you're going to school five days a week, but sometimes tutoring is supplemental. And we understand kids are in extracurricular activities. Yeah. Parents have so lives. Busy. Mm -hmm. They're so busy. Um, and with every student, it is different, especially where they start to where they want to be. And so we always preach consistency because some kids might need to come in three, four days a week for one to two hours. And then mm -hmm. some might only need to be there for two hours a week. Um, so it really is a conversation with the parents, like how quickly are you trying to do this? And what's your availability with bringing your child in and committing to this? Some of our parents have actually removed their kids from some extracurricular activities because okay. they know school comes first um, in a lot of ways. So. so a lot to think about before they even get to you guys because you don't want them coming in saying, just do it fast. Yes. So no. there's a lot of, a <laughs> yeah. lot of things they need to consider. Exactly. There's a lot of time parents think that tutoring today means an A tomorrow mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's just not that's just <laughs> not it. Um, just like with anything. We want that pay. instant gratification <laughs> even yes, if it's for our Don't kids. All. all right Tristan and Rachel Thompson thanks so much for coming into the studio this morning from Tutoring Club Cyprus. We appreciate you coming in this morning. Thank you so much Thank for having you us. For having us.